Now, the Federal Operations Unit Zone A of the Nigerian Customs Service has announced that it says contraband was 2.87 billion naira between January to March this year, while it made 29 arrests during the period. Speaking to journalists, the Customs Area Controller, Comptroller Hossein Ejibono, said the seizures were due to violations of various sections of the Nigerian Customs Service Act of 2023, the Federal Government Import and Export Prohibition Guidelines. Citizens should avoid smuggling because it is a criminal offence against the state. Participating in it has legal consequences such as hefty fines, imprisonment or other legal sanctions. For example, Section 228, First Statements and Declaration, Section 231, counterfeiting any seal, signature, initials or any mark used by any officer. Section 229, an intentional entry of goods for less duty payment. Therefore, citizens must avoid smuggling because it does not only pose legal and safety risk, but also undermines the well-being of society as a whole. Smuggling impacts society negatively by shortchanging the economy through tax evasion, affects public health and safety, distorts the balance of fair business competitiveness, and also serves as an instrument for the achievement of other criminal activities. The Customs Board added that within the period under review, the command also seized 12,278 bags of rice equivalent to 21 trailers. What we are seeing here is another way of smuggling rice inside jerry can. Of, you can see, these jerry can must have been used either for PMS or diesel, PGO. Now, you can see the rice that they kept inside 20 kg. See the rice. Someone will take this and we start thinking maybe one or two things else challenges will come up. They will not be thinking, oh, I don't know what I ate. I have a food poison. This is the poison. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.